So the genesis of this project really came from um, a bunch of winemakers who were working in Woodenville, making a variety of different wines. And the problem that they are interested in solving is, is a very practical decision. So they're interested in determining the minimum amount of SO2 that needs to be added to a wine before the yeast are done fermenting all the sugar. So, so that is to say the wine is a little bit sweet. So the goal is to stop the fermentation, but not to have so much SO2 around that the aroma of the wine is compromised because SO2 doesn't smell very good. The, the issue really is not that um, winemakers don't know how to use SO2 in a lot of different contexts, but this context is particularly complicated because wine's coming in at different pHs with different levels of sugar and maybe different levels of acid aldehyde all of which are known to affect the efficacy and, and availability of sulfur dioxide are all different components of the problem. Part of the project is, this, is the sensory analysis of, analysis of the wines. The juice itself, before it starts for fermenting, is basically grape juice concentrated. Yeah. It's, it's just super, super sweet. It has like, it's like the sweetest grape juice you've ever had. It was, um, it was fun because it was new, but then it got, I feel like pouring plates <laughs> is a little tedious, a little time consuming. It's kind of, yeah. They get hot. In the beginning, wait. one of Jenny's students taught us to pour plates, and it was sort of funny because he was like, you don't know how to pour plates, like yeah. what? You know, so he's like going through it really slow and being really nice about it. And then towards the end, we were like, okay, well, three liters of media today. Well, this is sort of tedious. Yeah. But... I think for us, sterile technique was the hardest thing to learn. Yeah, I think at the end we had about 10% plates go bad just after pouring them. I don't know if that's high or normal. It's probably a little bit high. Probably could have done better. Well, the literature is rich on different uses of SO2. The literature is not particularly rich in this area of this multidimensional problem of when it's barrel fermented and it's sweet what's the appropriate amount of SO2. So, so now I'm learning, I'm trained as an organic chemist, learned a little bit of cell biology. Now I'm learning microbiology um, in collaboration with another faculty member here at Seattle U and in collaboration with Erica at her winemaking consulting company. And really the, you know, the, ultimate, the ultimate test is the client and the consumer. If the wines taste good, then we will have done well.